The Nintendo GameCube was Nintendo's answer to Sony's PlayStation 2 and Microsoft's Xbox. And with that response came a lot of power and a lot of great games. They were originally stunning. There was a lot of library games and Nintendo had a lot of things going right with the GameCube. We're gonna learn how to emulate this on the Mac. Now, first things first, let's fire Safari and get Dolphin downloaded. So go to their official website, this dolphin-emu.org, go to their page and get Dolphin downloaded. Go to their page and you'll see that big beautiful download button right up front, hit that to get this downloaded. And as you see, a lot of games are compatible with this emulator in their official website, so that is great news. And if you look at the updates on the page, you see that there's been a lot of updates happening on a weekly, almost daily basis, which means that there's enormous support from the developer team, which is oh, fantastic news for any emulator. There's often downloaded, so let's fire this baby up and tweak it. Now, follow my configuration for Dolphin if your computer ain't too high spec or if it's sort of old. Because uh, look, cause mine's an old MacBook Pro and I've just got 8GB of RAM and I got an Intel HD 3000 GPU. Not the greatest by any standards, but I can assure you that gameplay is fluid on my settings. So, no lags, no buffs, things just work good, but it's definitely not the HDs of settings. So, if your computer is higher spec, if you got a dedicated NVIDIA GPU, feel free to crank up the resolution, go 2K, 4K, play full HD. Now, one great part about the emulator is the fact that they let you overclock, which is amazing. I was surprised to see the overclock option there, and crank it up, do not crank it up all the way really high, don't go 200%, go to maybe a 126, 130 to the max, because it's going to heat up your CPU a lot, so... But it's still great that you got the potential to overclock. So I set my overclock speed to 136 times and the stuff worked pretty good. So just follow my lead. Just see whatever you're doing on the screen. And for hacks, enable all the hacks because we're going to need them. And for advanced, you can leave pretty much everything as blank because we do not need any of those settings. And that is all for the configuration. Time to try out a game. Now, before we try the game, talking about the input settings, when you go for the input settings, you're going to see that your keyboard ain't responsive this. It's possibly because it's got a keyboard selected with the option input slash. Change it to keyboard slash. That's the one that you need as a computer's keyboard. The other input slashes are not legit keyboards for some reason. Game time. And there you have it, Dragon Ball Z Budokai working wonderful, wonderful on the MacBook in the new Dolphin emulator. I am honestly surprised the amount of work these developers put in this emulator because come on man, these guys updated every single day. <laughs> That's fantastic news. And because the GameCube's got a massive library of games, it's almost, almost really close to the PS2 and even the Xbox, but PS2, of course, are more games, but the GameCube gives you a large variety of good looking games, which is amazing. Oh, there's Master Roshi spinning. Now, I know these games are played in HD right now, but I prefer fluidity over HD, but if your computer's got better specs, feel free to crank up the resolution and play it at high risk, because I bet it's going to work great. But if you're in a low spec computer, it's still going to work, and you can enjoy some really good ass kicking with Dragon Ball Z, and then fantastic library of GameCube games. And that is all for this time guys, until next time, hit that like button, share that love, and stay awesome.